Hey everybody, it's Matt from nsickness.org. Today I'm going to talk about histamine intolerance for beginners. I'm first going to talk about what histamine is, what histamine intolerance is, the reasons people get histamine intolerance, understanding the connection to the mast cells and how important the mast cells are in this whole situation, how more people have histamine intolerance than they even realize and how that's triggering a lot of their symptoms and where to start with everything and then I'll summarize the key points. Okay, So first of all, what is histamine? Histamine is a molecule that's secreted by the mast cells that's the primary inflammatory molecule in the body. It's also responsible for allergies, responsible for wakefulness, it affects your uh, attentiveness, your, your energy, it affects uh, you know, your immune system, your genes, it affects inflammation. I mean, it's, a, it's one of the most important molecules in the entire body, and it's underrated significantly. Um, and in most cases, it is the main driving factor behind a lot of these inflammatory conditions because it's the most prevalent inflammatory molecule. So what is histamine intolerance? Histamine intolerance is a condition where people get way too much histamine in their body. It gets elevated over the course of time, usually due to an infection, high histamine diet, um, inability to break down histamine because of lack of DAO, DAO enzyme, etc. But what happens is people have elevated levels of histamine in their blood, in their body, and that makes them more reactive to things that increase histamine or things that contain histamine. Okay, so histamine intolerance is a situation where people become reactive to various things that trigger histamine release from the mast cells or contain histamine in the food itself. And uh, they start to have these sensitivities develop, a lot of it because it is uh, due to this release of histamine or this um, increase in blood histamine, which is already elevated, okay? So reasons for histamine intolerance. Most people get histamine intolerance because they have multiple chronic infections, okay? Usually it's a parasitic infection, uh, that's the root cause, or a Lyme, or something that's significant like that. Um, could be a virus, Epstein-Barr virus, COVID even, you know, could be one of the major driving factors. And then they usually have bacterial and fungal infections going on too. So they have a combination of various types of infections together. And most of these infections produce toxins that make the mast cells secrete histamine, okay? And some of these organisms actually secrete histamine on their own as well. So you have a situation where you have this abundance of histamine that develops in the body, in the blood, and the person becomes highly reactive to future exposures to histamine or to things that increase histamine in the body. So that is the main reasons for histamine intolerance is a gut bacteria imbalance, infections, chronic infections, multiple types of infections, but usually it's tied to a parasite infection in most cases um, and uh, other types of infections. So, Understanding the mast cell connection is most important for histamine intolerance. People don't realize it's not just about eating a low histamine diet or about uh, reducing your exposure to things that, that uh, contain histamine. A lot of it is about understanding that the mast cells are the driving force behind histamine intolerance. They release histamine within the body. So you have to make sure that everything you're doing is calming down the mast cells. You can't be taking synthetic supplements, pharmaceuticals, you know, eating the foods that trigger the mast cells eating the same foods every single day, um, you know, a lot of the common mistakes people make with histamine intolerance. Um, so mast cell activation is usually what is the root cause of this histamine intolerance. This is overactive immune response. So you have to do everything that you have to do has to address this overactive immune response or you're going to end up uh, worse with your histamine intolerance symptoms. So you have to understand the mast cell connection to really be able to understand histamine intolerance. Mast cells are the main source of histamine because they secrete it into your blood within you um, and it's much more of a driving factor of this condition than histamine in foods. Most people who have histamine intolerance don't even realize it. People who have autoimmune disease, almost all those people have histamine intolerance. Almost all of them have overactive mast cell responses. They've shown in studies that mast cell activation is actually the main cause of autoimmune symptoms. That mast cells are in fact the therapeutic target for autoimmune disease. So if you have a chronic illness that's related to inflammation, guess what? The mast cells and histamine are involved, and if you address those things, your symptoms should get reduced. Based on my experience, what the studies say, the experiences I've had with clients, etc. So it's the first place I start with everybody, is are, are all the supplements that you're taking non-synthetic, and do they reduce mast cell activation or modulate mast cells? 
Are you taking anything that could trigger mast cells? Are you eating anything that could trigger mast cells? Are you rotating your foods properly to prevent sensitivities from developing? These are the places I start with nearly every chronic illness, every chronic inflammatory condition because most people have overactive mast cells if you have a chronic inflammation situation. Um, so where to start with everything? You have to create a dietary supplement symptom log, okay? That involves writing down everything you eat, you take, and then on the, on the left-hand side of a piece of paper, the, right down the middle you draw a line, on the right-hand side you write your symptoms down. You observe what you're eating and how it affects your symptoms. You minimize ingredients and minimize supplements and you keep them separate from one another to make sure you understand what is causing what reactions. If you're eating, a, uh, eating food and it's not causing you a problem, great. Keep eating it on a rotation every two to three days, ideally every three days. If you're eating food and then symptoms are becoming worse, it's more than likely because the food you're eating to, you are sensitive to. Unless you get rid of those foods or those supplements or those pharmaceuticals or you get rid of the, the triggers in your environment, then you're not going to be able to beat histamine intolerance. So you have to start first with identifying the irritants in your food, in your environment, in your supplements, pharmaceuticals, etc. That is the first place to start with everything. After that, you want to look at supplements that are only natural, that are mast cell modulators. I have plenty of videos on the best mast cell modulators, the best supplements for mast cell activation, best supplements for histamine intolerance. I've got a couple videos on that. So summary of key points. Histamine, very important molecule in the body, drives inflammation throughout the whole body. Histamine intolerance is when you have too much of this for too long and then you become intolerant to other things that increase histamine uh, or contain histamine. Reasons for histamine intolerance, almost always a chronic infection or a combination of chronic infections. Understanding the mast cell connection. Mast cells are the most important part. They are the ones that secrete histamine inside the body. Without understanding the mast cell connection, you won't be able to beat histamine intolerance. Also, most people uh, who have chronic illnesses, they have some degree of histamine intolerance, whether they realize it or not. And they almost always have some degree of mast cell activation or overactive immune response. Otherwise, they wouldn't have these chronic inflammatory symptoms. Where to start with everything? Dietary symptom log, supplement log. Keys, removing all synthetics, only, only taking things that are mast cell modulators um, in studies have been proven in studies to, to calm down mast cells. Otherwise, you end up triggering this whole cycle of events and symptoms, right? So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out at nsickness.org. I have all my contact information on there, or you can put your questions, your uh, comments on YouTube. I'm happy to respond to those as well. If you have uh, anything you need in addition to that, reach out. I um, want to mention this is for educational purposes only. This is not meant to be medical advice in any way, shape, or form. This is based on my experiences, experiences I've had with my daughter, my clients, the 20, the 20 plus years of research that I've done. So hopefully this video has been very helpful for you if you're studying, if you're studying histamine intolerance or you're struggling with it, you know someone that's struggling with it. Um, and uh, feel free to reach out, as I said, with any questions. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.